Hello guys, welcome to another video in this React series. This is a continuation of my previous video on React Date Picker. If you have not watched that one, please feel free to go back and watch that video. I have provided the link for that video in the description as well. In the previous video, we have added a date picker in our React.js application. In this tutorial, we will enhance that one and add a time selection feature as well. As you can see here, there is a time selection option along with the date picker here. Let's open the code editor first. This is a code which we have added earlier to add a date picker in our React.js application. If you preview this one in browser, you can observe there is no time selection option for this date picker. Adding time selection to the existing React date picker can be achieved by doing some modifications in the existing code. So let's see how to achieve that one. This is a JSX element for date picker which we have added earlier. Within this date picker element, first thing which we need to do here is add show time select. This will give us the option to select the time from this date picker. Then we can mention the time intervals here. Based on your requirements, you can mention the different time intervals. If you want to provide an option to the users of intervals of 30 minutes, you can mention as 30 minutes. If you want to add as 10 minutes, you can provide that one as well here. And the third property which we need to define here is time format. This will define the time format which need to be shown to the user or the time should be displayed. Here I will mention the time format as hour then minutes. So that's it. Now we have provided a feature of selecting time from date picker. So let's save this one then go back to browser. Now if you click on date picker you can observe time selection is available now to the user. And the time interval which we have defined here is 30 minutes that is also being displayed here. Another thing you can notice here is when I select a time that is not getting displayed in our input box. To make that available whenever user selects any time, go back to your code editor and in the date format property which we have defined earlier, mention HH then MM that is nothing but hour and minutes. Now save this one. Now if you observe that one in browser, you can see whatever the time is selected by the user that will be displayed in the input box as well. So this is a one of the useful feature in React.js application. That's it guys for this short video. If you have any questions or if you want me to create any video on any particular concept or real time scenario, please put it in the video comments. I will try to resolve those. Thanks for watching this. If you like this video, please click on like button, share it with others and subscribe to my channel.